Hello, it's Phil from Scholarcy. We're going to look how to create a literature review matrix automatically in Scholarcy. This is sometimes called a synthesis matrix, and it shows a breakdown of all your papers in your literature review uh, with information on their study findings, conclusions, results, and methods, and so on. So I'm in Scholarcy library, and I'm going to increase the number of articles that we can export in one go. So I'm going to make that 100. It defaults to 25, but let's have it 100. I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to go to um, a folder of papers that I've already uploaded. Now, these are ones that I automatically imported from an RSS feed from Med Archive. Um, you can obviously manually upload PDFs as well. But the important thing is we've got a collection of papers. So I've got 79 here in my collection, and I'm going to export these to Excel. So I go to the move and the export, I select my items, and then down the bottom I select Excel, and then we do export. This takes a few seconds. It's going to give us an Excel file, which I'm going to open in Excel. And there's our synthesis template, which is all a bit crammed together, so let's just make that a bit bigger. So I'm going to wrap the text and I'm going to format the columns to auto fit. And then I'm going to do my uh, freeze panes in Excel. So we can scroll down and see the main fields of each study. So we've got the keywords, we've got the DOI, we've got the journal, we've got the author's title, things like funding statement, disclosures, ethical compliance, and then the main contributions of each article, study limitations, and so on. So for every paper, we've got the, all the key information. And we can then add to this if we want. We can edit this. Now, Excel isn't generally the best format for doing this. So what we can also do is import this information into Notion. Notion is really popular among researchers right now. So I've done this automatically. Um, previously, um, we can take an Excel document and import that into Notion. So here's the same spreadsheet that I had in Excel that was generated from Scholarcy. We've got the same information now in Notion, which is much nicer to work in. We've got the keywords that we can edit. We've got the same information, you know, the main study contributions, uh, study limitations, and so on. These are all automatically populated because Scholarcy has automatically extracted this information from the study for you. And then you can edit this um, into your own words or take out bits that you don't want and add more information as you wish. And that should give you a starting point. There's lots of Notion templates out there that make this a little bit nicer, but this is just the raw information from Excel that I've imported here. Great. So I hope you found that useful and uh, speak to you soon. Thanks very much.